Hi, and welcome back to Gardening with Momo. Today, we're talking worms. Okay, so the other day I fed them some lettuce, some more beetroot, um, just some leftovers out of my fridge, and it seems that they have eaten quite a bit of it. So I will be feeding them some more stuff today. But I'll also be aerating um, just to put, just to make sure it doesn't smell and to make sure all the worms are okay and to make sure there's enough moisture, uh, just to make sure there's nothing funky in my worm farm happening. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, it's good to do this weekly. Okay, so that seems fine. I will just pick up some of that. Okay, there's no worms. Oh yeah, there's still some moisture in there. It's not overly wet, which is really good, and it's not dry. Uh, there's no smell in it. There's no unwanted pests. I have noticed I've got a lot of babies which is great. Um, they have just gone camera shy though, so I can't really get them on camera. Okay, I can't find any baby worms, but through this I have just looked. There's lots of worms. They look quite healthy. They seem to be enjoying all the food that I've been giving them. I've given my worm farm a massive um, fluff or aerated them. Oh, there's a beautiful one there. I've seen a good fat one before too. Okay, so my worm farm's looking good, smelling good, it feels good. There's not a lot of moisture. Um, and it looks as though they've been enjoying all the food that I've given. Today, I'm going to give them some old veggies that I found in my fridge. So I'm just going to put them in there. We've got some beans, we've got some cucumber. Normally I like dice it up quite fine or grind it up with my grinder, but um, today I'm just going to see how they go with this. Um, I've also, for something a little bit different, I'm putting a few tomatoes in or chopped up tomato. I don't want to put too much in because I know tomatoes are quite acidic. So we'll see how they go. And I'll see if they enjoy this food. I try and feed my worms every two to three days. I do find that I get a build up of veggie scraps. So an easy way I deal with that is I just chop them up and put them in a glad bag and freeze them. Um, take them out when I need to. And I don't defrost them, but I just come out and put them in my worm farm. Another tip is after you have run some water in your worm bin, um, take this part off and down in here um, where the water runs through out to the tap, here you'll find that worms get stuck down there. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is the bottom of my worm tra tray. Um, now, I've got a few worms stuck down here. So basically, I'm just going to open up the tray of my worm bin and plop them back in. So just grab it, put him in. There's another one. Put them in. Uh, there's one down here. Basically, when I check my worm farm weekly, to aerate it or fluff it or to check that the food's being eaten. Um, I take my first tier off and give it a good check to make sure that there's no worms that's stuck. Like this one. <laughs> He's stuck in the water. Here we go. Um, if they do get stuck down here in the water, you've got to get them out because unfortunately they can drown. All right, I think that's about it. Oh, there's a little sucker. Come here, you. Oh, where are you? There you are. Okay. Say hello to everyone. 
All right, come in here, Wormy. All right, so I've just put them back in here. Um, oh, so put them back down there. I also notice every time I open my worm farm up. Oh, there was a little baby there. Sorry. Every time I open my worm farm up, they seem to be in my hessian mat. Down in here. Um, on there. That's okay. They do eat through this material. I don't know if you can see. But they have eaten all through the bag. Um, and it's a normal thing that they do. But there they are there. Oh, oh there's some. If you can see them. Oh, there's a couple of little babies in there. Uh, I can't see any a moment, but oh, there's all up in there. You can see them. So there they are. They like to congregate in there as well. Um, but at the moment, I'm really happy with how my worm farms ended up. They, they seem very happy. They seem very healthy. Um, oh, also, I did mention... Hang on. I also did mention that I'll talk about adding a second tier. I'm not ready to add a second tier yet. I want it to fill up a little bit more. It's quite normal, though, for it to take a while for it to fill up it can take oh from what i've researched three to six months maybe longer it depends on what you feed them if your worms like their food um, and how long you've had your worms as well my worms are quite new so um, this will take a while but the best way to do it is when it's nearly filled up to the top that is when you add your second tier and then you do that by adding some food scraps uh, some shredded paper newspaper leaves anything like that um, no need to worry about if they've eaten all the food in here. Um, they will slowly eat through that and then make their, work their way up to the second tier. And then you're left with the beautiful worm castings. Um, and then I'll be making a video eventually on the worm castings and how to use that. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next video.